Hello guys, here we got a battle against uh, Sola Notch uh, from Maryland Forums and yeah, this battle turned out to be an awesome battle. Honestly, it was just, oh my god. Well, you will see it in a bit, so let's get started. Here we go. He sent out an Infernape and I sent out Uxie and my Uxie is specially trained in defense and special defense so I'm afraid, I'm not afraid of anything. So I just wanna thunder wave that Infernape because of its speed, it's always so fast and he puts the Earth Rock on. So, he switched out, I don't know what he was expecting, maybe Psychic or something, and I put my Steve Rock on his field, like he did uh, like he did with me. So, uh, that Tyranitar is really annoying, he uh, come uh, with that stupid Sandstorm, and I just John so that if he if he have uh, Dragon Dance, he would be forced to switch out or something, you know. And, yeah, he sub up, which is great for me, so if he stay in, he will get a sleep, and it will give me some uh, free turns to attack. So, that's not smart on his part if you stay in. So, I was predicting his switch, and I went for Skarmory. Well, he come out with a Scissor, which can't do anything against my Skarmory, honestly, because every Scissor is, special, uh, is a, a physical sweeper, so no, never a special sweeper, because he sucks. Well, uh, he, he turned and went for another uh, Pokemon, which is Stormy, and I'm afraid of Stormy, honestly. I blow him away, because I knew he would switch, because, because Scissor can't do anything against Scar Mori, so that's it. Well, I whirlwind and he come out with a Kindra. And honestly, I'm not afraid of Kindra. You know why? Because the most people uh, those days, nowadays, always use physical sweeper of uh, Kindra. So I went for this guy. Well, I, I was expecting Dragon Dance or Waterfall. Since I know Waterfall would would have not one hit KO my Flygon, I sent Flygon on the field. But of course, he always. I mean, my opponent have always to get a critical hit when I just don't like it. I mean. Yeah, you may get a critical hit some sometime later, but not now. But well, he gets. So I brought out my Cogmas to, to fake out, but because I was pretty sure he would uh, switch, you know, I over predict every time. And I U-turn. So, well, since he have a bug type on the field, which is Scizor, and his type is Metal uh, Steel, and bug is four times weak for uh, fire, so I sub up because I knew he would switch. He got, he got hurt. Uh, his infernet got hurt by Steve Rock, so that's good for me. And Sam Storm, Sand Storm keep being annoying. So I sub up and I went for the Focus Blast to finish his, his infernet off. Honestly, infernet isn't even, yeah, uh, I mean, it isn't uh, even needed right now because it's paralyzed. And every infernet needs his speed. And this infernet has almost no speed right now. So I finish him off. Well, I'm counting uh, that he is about to bring out Stormy or Kindra. But he brought out Stormy, of course. Stormy is a special sweeper, special sweeper which can sweep like hell. So I switched to this guy, to Yuxi, to take the Surf, or whatever was coming. Well, maybe he was predicting my switch, so he went for Reflect. And, yeah, because I got more sweepers than just special sweepers, that's a big problem for me. Uh, I have to find out a way to get that Stormy out of the way, and I Thunder Wave it. Hoping his ability isn't Nature Cure, because I would have been screwed. So. Honestly, uh, your opponent always switch if, if he got some status problems or something, but this time he didn't, so I, that's why I went for John, maybe he would have switched to Tyrande or something, and I could have uh, put it asleep, and yeah, that was just great. Well, um, uh, he, he reflects in uh, light screen, and now he has big defense and special defense, so I went for Psychic, because he just stayed in, and that pretty much sucks. Well, I went for the Psychic, and he went for Surf, and... Yeah, because it's slower, that's great for me. And, yeah, that's just like that. Well, I went for Thunder Wave again, expecting him to switch, you know. You never know when your opponent's gonna switch. So I was predicting him uh, to switch, uh, that's why I used uh, Thunder Wave. So, that way, I made a mistake. But it doesn't matter. I went for Psychic again, which is good for me. And, yeah, he went for Surf. And actually, I know right now he isn't gonna switch anymore. Because, yeah, if that Stormy would have, yeah would have some fun functions uh, for later or in the future in this battle. He would have a long way, uh, l long ago, have switched. But li because he didn't, I'm pretty sure I can kill it right now. Well, I guess right here I made another mistake, expecting him to switch, but that was just useless. Because if he switches, he will get uh, hurt by his death rock. Oh, sorry. I didn't make any mis mi mistakes. Uh, mistake. Mistake! Yeah, that was it. Well, he, he reflect, word off, and that's good for me, so I can sweep again. And uh, that sandstorm is just so freaking annoying that it sucks. Well, he come out with a Sabdos, and I was like, oh my god, don't not a Sabdos. I'm completely screwed. I can't do any shit against the thing. If I go for Cogmaster and I fake out, he would have go for his Caesar. So that complex sucks. 
And if I got for you turn and I sent out my blaze again, it would have probably have been switched to another Pokemon that can't resist it. But oh well. I went for Uxi and I went for the Sand Hit Bird. Maybe he was expecting me to use uh, that uh, Psychic or Thunderbolt, but yeah, it worked perfectly for him because he switched to the East Tyranitar. I can actually do nothing right here. Just U turn and hoping get a critical hit or something, you know. But I know it's gonna hurt because I have Life Aura and Max Attack with Yoli Nature. And I got a sweet critical hit. So we are eating because he critical hits my Flygon and I critical hit his Tyranitar. So that's pretty much a good deal. So, it's a terrain that went, uh, went down, but honestly, the big trouble Pokemon in this battle is that freaking Zapdos. If Zapdos was dead, I was happy. But, because that didn't happen, I'm just screwed. Well, he sent out this Scizor. Yeah, of course he's about to use uh, Bullet Punch for some reason. Well, every Scizor has always Bullet Punch right now. So, I'm gonna switch to Abe Phoenix, uh, which is uh, Skarmory, to take the Bullet Punch. But, actually, maybe he was expecting me to switch. And he went for his roots to get his HP back. And I was like, man, come on, stop doing that. If you keep doing that, I will, I will, this, this battle won't end never. Maybe he was expecting me to real win him again, and he rushed up to get full HP. So that was just great. I was, I was pretty happy that freaking Zapdos didn't come in, and the physical sweeper Kingdra of him come in. So that's pretty much a deal. Well, honestly, I wanted to go for the, yeah, for the taunt, but that's a little useless because he's faster. So I went for the drill pack. Uh, at this rate of the battle, I was expecting to get any crit or something, you know, that would have saved a lot of HP of my Abbey Phoenix, which is Karmori, and, yeah, but because that ha didn't happen, I'm screwed. Well, he waterfalls, and it did actually a lot of damage, because, yeah, I, I just have, I don't know, maybe I don't have max defense, no, 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 sorry, I don't have max defense, it's, it's defense is about 382 or something, I don't know, but I still think that Pokemon sweet, uh, hit, hits too hard. So, I'm like, damn, if I keep being hexed to death here with those fl fucking flinch hex, I would have lost, to I, would, I would have been totally lost. Well, I keep using Roost because, yeah, I was planning something. I was planning that Samstorm would, ha would have killed that freaking Kindra. And he gets a freaking fucking freaking fucking flinch plus a fucking critical hit. Sorry for saying fu fucking, but that's <laughs> it's just not normally anymore. But, oh well. He brought out his Zapdos, which is obvious that he brought out the thing. Well, I didn't switch because I want, yeah, I was like, I don't need uh, Escarmory anymore, so I'm gonna let, I'm gonna sacrifice it. So, well, I sacrificed it, and yeah, as you can see, uh, Zapdos has half HP. And this is where I fucked the whole game up. I was expecting him to switch, you know? I was expecting him to switch by predicting the fake out and go for his Caesar. But he fucking didn't. He fucking didn't. He just fucking stayed in, and the freaking screwed the whole fucking game up. He went for a Thunderbolt, I was like, nah, I was like, come on, man, come on, this is not funny anymore, come on. Well, he, he debolt, I needed my, uh, a self, but because I don't want to sacrifice Blaze again anymore, I, I mean, I don't want to sacrifice Blaze again, because I need it to one hit KO that freaking Caesar. But, oh well, I brought out this guy, and I went for the Thunder, thunder Punch, I went for the Thunder Punch, and I got a critical hit. So, that was amazing, that was just cool. And right here, it's it's now one, it's now one versus one, and I'm pretty sure I would have survived the freaking bullet punch that was coming. But of course, of course, did what did always happen? Such stupid things. Why the fucking hell do I have to miss with blaze kick? Why the hell do I have to miss with blaze kick? Tell me that. I miss with blaze kick, and the fucking sandstorm kills me. And if sandstorm haven't killed me, didn't kill me on that turn, I would have lost anyway because of his bullet punch. But oh my god. Well, that was honestly an uh, extreme good battle, but sorry again for the for those uh, bad words, but sorry, <laughs> I was just uh, a little angry, you know? But, oh well, comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to check out my new account, which is not very new, but okay, I will be uploading battles there, so keep an eye on there also, and subscribe there also. So, uh, I check you guys later.